Okay, guys, I did it. Let's blinky right on. Ready for retro bees. Yeah. So let's blinky for iPack 64 for pack lead ultimate. iPack ultimate. It's all set up for MAME and all the system. So uh, in the, the video, I will show you how to set it up on the first part. So if you're watching this video to uh, set your uh, iPack Ultimate or uh, Packlet 64, I will jump right away to show you how to set it up. And after, on the second part, I will show um, advanced user uh, the few, uh, there is a ton of uh, setting in pack lead, uh, in lead blink uh, setting. Took me uh, two days to set it up. So the base is set up, everything works, the lead blink works on main. Uh, I set the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation, but uh, for the next few updates, I will set around 160 system in it so every time you will drag a system main works okay all main works um, but all other system it will be a default uh, setting like nintendo 64 you will have the led uh, blink as the controller ps1 you will have the same color as the ps1 and so on for all the most uh, uh, popular system okay computer console handheld uh, I will set all those systems. Uh, most of the systems are kind of preset, but I need to adjust the naming, the color. It's a pain in the butt. But uh, at the end, it's freaking amazing. So uh, just to check, look at that. As soon as you move the controller, it will jump on the player one, two, three, and four, okay? But now I will show you how to set it up. After I'm going to show you the goodies and the, uh, the more advanced uh, settings. So I will uh, jump closer. I will go closer on the, uh, yeah, like that is good. OK, so when you buy my retro bees, Oh, where's my keyboard? When you buy my retro bees and you boot the uh, retro bees the first time, uh, LED blinky is turned off. Okay. Now it's turned on, but thank you, you for playing. Yeah, I will I'm show you how to turn off the voice and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure you see well because you see the light and you see the screen. Good. All right. So and I'm still recording. Okay. So first part, how to use it. You install your retro base, you set your drive as D. You will have a shortcut on your desktop wiki, or you go on the drive wiki, and the 16, LED blinky. LED blinky, there is a turn off and turn on. So if I double click it, turn off, it will Actually, it will remove the uh, LED blinky EX execu executable from the LED blinky. Simple as that. Because every time uh, RetroBeast boot is looking for LED blinky uh, execu executable, uh, if you want to put it on, that's the purpose of the video. So you put it on, LED blinky on, you double click the bat, and it's going to boot automatically from RetroBeast. It will boot from the launch box, big box, and it will uh, enable it also on hyperspin, okay? Because there is three launcher on the, the retro beast, the actual retro beast with LED blink, launch box with LED blinky, and hyperspin with LED blinky, right? After that, you just need to decide which uh, iPack or pack LED you have, and that's it, you're done. So, if you click in the wiki, 16 LED Blinky, LED, LED Blinky, you will have three folder shortcut. One is for RetroBees. You open it, it's going to be the LED Blinky. Launch box is going to be another LED Blinky for launch, launch box because it needs to work with launch box. That's why there is three LED Blinky uh, separated and hyperspin LED Blinky. So, 
Let open RetroBase. You open it. There is one config file. Okay, there is a ton of config. I don't know if you try to set let Blinky, but there is a ton. There is a, uh, the one I, I works the most is the control, let Blinky control. There is a ton, uh, let Blinky control. But the most important one, the one that's going to fit your uh, IPAC ultimate or pack led. It's the uh, lead blinky input mapping, okay? That's the most important one, okay? You don't need to open it. Actually, I'm just uh, showing you, but it's because each pin on your uh, pack, uh, IPAC ultimate or pack lead, each pin is uh, paired with a keyboard uh, button. So that's the way he knows which button it's with which color. Okay, so what you're gonna do? So in, it's called LED Blinky Input Map. Uh, you go on the folder LED Blinky Input Map in the LED Blinky uh, folder. You open it. I create uh, four preset. Okay, so if you have one pack LED, uh, I pack Ultimate for player one and two you choose one IPAC ultimate for two player. If you have uh, one pack led for two player, you choose one I, uh, pack led for uh, two player. After I have the most classic four player, it's two IPAC ultimate, one for player three and one. And the second one, the second one device number two for player two and four. Okay, makes sense. Uh, after, if you have two pack led for player, same story, two uh, pack led for player three and one, and uh, the second device two pack led for uh, player uh, two and four. Uh, I'm not gonna do any tutorial how to set your. Um, uh, by the way, your uh, pack led 64 or I pack. Uh, I need Packlet 64 need to be an X, X input to use the, uh, the RetroBase, LaunchBox, and Hyperspin. And if you are using the, uh, uh, the other IPAC, uh, what's the name, IPAC 2 or whatever. Anyway, any IPAC with button, you need to set them X, as X input. For me, it doesn't matter which button it's paired with which input on your IPAC. It doesn't matter, okay? As long as you listen to that, okay? For me, it doesn't matter. The, the button mapping on the IPAC, it doesn't matter, okay? Because you need to plug your, uh, because it, it makes sense. It doesn't matter which pin because it's gonna be A, B. I'm gonna zoom in. Because it's very simple. Because people overcomplicate it, okay? So that's your A. B, I'm talking in X input, A, B, X, Y, R1, uh, R2, L1, L2. This is the basic setup for uh, six button when you play fighting game like uh, Street Fighter and stuff like that. So it's A, B, X, Y, R1, R2, L1, L2, all right? If you have a Patco, same story, it's the same button. The way the color map the match with your uh, IPAC or, uh, or pack led, this is the number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Make sense? Coin and start. Okay? So if I open, I repeat. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coin and star. Same story for number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coin star. If you have six button, one, two, three, four, five, six, coin star. Same thing here, player three. That was player four. One, two, three, four, five, six, coin star. Okay? That's the way it works. And for X input, A, uh, 
yeah, A, B, X, Y, R1, uh, R, R, B, R, T, and L, B, L, T. And same thing for the rest, okay? Same thing. So if you choose one of my uh, pre-comp files, I try to grab the, I'm gonna show you, because I need to open, um, if you want to test your lid, I'm gonna show you. So you just copy the, uh, the files that match your uh, uh, hardware, okay? Let's say, uh, okay, uh, the most classic, you have two iPads for four player, okay? You copy it, you put it in the root of the LED Blinky, and you copy the name of LED Blinky and put mapping, you delete it, and you rename the one you just, uh, now you, you set, you, you're ready to set. Um, if you boot, what's the name? Let Blinky, uh, where it is? This one. Input map inside Let Blinky. You will see all your button. Look, player one. I don't know if you can see on the camera. All right, yeah, you can see. So it's very, very simple. So I did say it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing on the, um, the, the, the LED blinky setting. Player one, they have three color. Player two, see? So P1, B2, P1, B3, number three, number four, number five, number six, number set. And is, it is associated with the, uh, the G code, the keyboard code next to it. So everything's gonna work uh, and says, this is the pin, okay? The pin one goes on player one, the pin two goes on, on the uh, uh, player, uh, button two, and so on. Pin three goes on the, the button three, and uh, four and four and five and five, six and six, and star, Usually it's named start and coin. Simple as that, if you want to test it. Okay, you boot uh, generate LED blinky input mapping. You have your ultimate board. It says activated and connected. And for board, board two, you have your uh, player two, button one, two, eight, start and coin, and you have player three. Okay, and at the end you have the uh, extra button for exit, select, mouse if you have it. To, uh, so everything is preset. You just need to copy the preset setting. Usually when you're gonna buy Marito Beats, it's already, it's already set for four player iPad Ultimate. Okay, if you haven't, just do that if you have another, uh, just one iPad, uh, iPad Ultimate or you have a packlet, you need to copy one of those uh, four profiles. Okay. Simple as that, you're ready to go. Um, if, you have, if you already have a two iPad Ultimate, you don't need to touch LaunchBox and Hyperspin. But if you, need, if you have another setup, just open LaunchBox and do the same story. Just copy the, uh, one of those uh, profiles to the root, in the root of LED Blinky, and that's it. After you have a bunch of tools if you want to test, uh, the most important one is the uh, Gen Lend Linky input mapping. You can see you actually, uh, if you did wire properly, you can check uh, one, two, three, four, five on a player three and so on. That's the way I, I work and I check. Uh, after that, you can boot Lend Linky config. Why it says two? Oh, sorry. Um, you can boot for each LED Blinky, you can boot LED Blinky config. Why? I just put it. Uh, wait a second. I'm going to reinstall the, uh, the update. I don't know why it didn't stick. Wait a second. Yeah, I did put the, uh, the latest version of LED Blinky. All right. So in the root of LED Blinky, you boot LED Blinky config. 
for a retro base, it's going to be Kynock. For a launch box, it's going to say launch box, the, ret the launcher. And for hyperspin, it will say hyperspin. So the first tab, if you don't like the voice or you don't want to hear the button and stuff like that, you can turn it off in the game option. Uh, flash uh, game control. It says speak game control. You can uncheck it or check it. Uh, there is a few, uh, you know, the, the, the light it will do, do at startup when you quit a game, boot a game. There is more option if you buy the license. I don't provide the, li the license, so mean every time you're going to boot RetroBeast, you will have the pop-up uh, free version, free try. If you want to buy it, you go on LedBlinky, you buy the license, you put your key in the root of LedBlinky, on the tree LedBlinky, and it will uh, unlock a little bit more option. Like, uh, if I remember, there is one option, like uh, I think game start. And get, when you boot a game and quit a game, there is an animation light. And you can change the anima animation if you want. So uh, yeah. And at the end, integration. It's cool if you have the servo disk to turn four way and eight way. Uh, ultra stick. Uh, there is also the uh, pixel cade. You can merge. So every time you're going to boot LedBlink key pixel cade, it's the uh, will work. I have pixel cade all set up. So if you have one, the image will go. Uh, it's almost that. If you go on the uh, coin up for the retro bees, uh, light coin up control, uh, there is not that much. Most settings are, are in the game option. So uh, if you want it, to talk the button and stuff like that and turn it off. So every time you change something, you press save and you close it. If you have any problem, you fucked up uh, something. Um, wait a second. There is a backup. Ah, oh, all setup control. There is a backup. So, um, yeah, setting back up. I back up all the settings right there. Setting back up, all the setting. If you change something, all the backup are right there. So that's it. So let's go to Land Blinky. I put Land Blinky on. So technically, if you have a, a I pack ultimate for player three and one, and player uh, second one for player uh, two and four. You don't have to do anything. You just need to activate it, let the key on, and boot retro bees. That's it. And let the magic happen. So I see. I just copy the uh, setting. It will. It take a few time to really load the. Um, if you go on main right away, it take uh, I think 20 seconds. To finish the animation and stuff like that, you can turn it off if you want. So as, lo as soon as you move the controller, it will jump on the main color. If the system doesn't have a preset color, it will go on this setting. So let's go on main. See, one button, player one. Whoop, sorry, I quit. Uh, and let's go on the other main. Wait a second. Uh, favorite. I need to finish working with the four player. I have a bug for two, uh, four player. Uh, the three player, the player three has some weird button, and I need to check. It's not finished, but the most important one was to finish the main. All two player, uh, everything works. See, uh, 1944. So the two player. Let's jump on uh, X Men. See all the button. Light, if I press, it will tell the button. Lighter. Light punch. Medium punch. Heavy punch. Light kick. Medium kick. Heavy kick. See, that's it. So it's a two player. You have the perfect button match, the perfect naming that match the button for every main games, okay? Like I said, there is a few uh, four player. I don't know what's happening, but player three is fucked up. 
I don't know what's happening. I need to check. Instead of us showing like two buttons, he's showing a bunch of white and purple color on the player three and some four player, the, the player four doesn't show for some reason. But it, it only happened in four player. Okay? So every time you're gonna boot a game, the light will show off and it, it will tell each button. It will be canceled as soon as you press a button, it will stop talking. Or you can disable it in the LED blinky uh, wizard. Okay? You can disable it so it will never tell the... But, you know, the first day you run LED blinky, it's fun to hear all the, the button, but after a while you, you want to turn it off. Okay? It will say also, uh, welcome to RetroBees, have fun. It can uh, also uh, give you some tip, not some tip, but it will talk during when you're gonna play. Sometimes it will say, uh, let's game on, or uh, there is an intruder. It's a random voice. It's, it's turned off, but you can turn it off, uh, on. So uh, yeah, it works, I see. All the coin. So player two. So see, I'm gonna show you everything match. So all the punch is down, all the kick are up. Punch, punch, heavy punch, kick, medium kick, heavy kick, punch, 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 kick, kick, kick. And <clears throat> to quit the retro beast, you can use the uh, exit or the, uh, the same as the Xbox controller, you press coin and star on player one and it will quit the game. Okay? Uh, you can use also the, uh, the mouse if you want to use the, the mouse is it, set, uh, the, the trackball. You have color on the trackball also. Um, okay, I'm going to show you Nintendo 64. And PS1, I just set a few, uh, an hour ago. But most console and, and hell and computer will have their uh, unique button as the original. So I press Y to get the, uh, my favorite. So let's jump on Nintendo 64. Okay, see, I don't know if you can see all the four buttons, but there is the four yellow, the two A and B, and the two, uh, they call it the Z on player one and two. So let's boot a game. All the button is per perfectly matched. Start. A. B. Up C. Down C. Up C. Right C. L or Z. R or Z. Cool, huh? And if you find any bug or anything I need to change, let, let me know on the Discord because it's not finished, okay? It takes some time to finish all the button. I need to set the proper color, set the proper naming of the button for every system. And it's possible I mismatch some color, uh, wrong color or wrong naming. Just let me know. It's not very, it's not very hard to change it. What is hard, it, it takes a long time. I have 160 system maybe more to set properly so it's very 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 long what was very hard is to, to set the base the base color the match button and everything but now I can set any system uh, that run on retro bees or lunchbox or hyperspin so let's jump on the dock station look at that same color <laughs> I went to the internet because I, all the modern PS4 and PS5 doesn't have color. I said, okay, I remember a bit the color. I was confused. So it's blue for A, uh, pink for uh, by pink purple for the uh, X, red for B, and green for Y. The two uh, R1 and L1, uh, sorry, R1, R2, and L1, L2. So let's check. It's two controller. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna boot again. Doesn't matter which one. Zero divide. Start. 
square, triangle, cross, zero, R1, L1, L2, R2. Yeah, that's it. So perfectly match. So I know some people, they will use a Xbox controller maybe to play all the, the console, but it doesn't matter. You have the lightning when you play it that match the, the, the system. So technically, most of the system, they will have a default setting for the, what I mean is it doesn't have a per game uh, button for PS1 and it's an, I imagine, a setting, uh, all the game, it's a one game per, uh, like a Nintendo 64 is some 300 games to set, so it doesn't make sense. So you have the, the basic uh, layout color for the system, that's it. I know some system, uh, Neo Geo, so I have the uh, Neo Geo, I have the per game setting. So if the game uses two buttons, it's two buttons, you know what I mean? Uh, it matched the game, but uh, there is a few system I can, there is a few game preset per system, but don't expect uh, all the game that have a, a per game uh, button. So main as uh, a per game lightning setup, if it's a one button, it's a one button, it's a two button arcade, it will only show two button and so on. Usually arcade there is three, one, two, three, maybe four buttons, but that's it. Uh, so Let Blinky will evolve. I will do a ton of update uh, to integrate all the system, but that's it. That's my last update after that. Let Blinky is set. It works. I'm very proud. I did show you how to access Let Blinky, how to change it. Uh, like I said, I change also the main, uh, in the main guys, for the main games, I used to have, uh, my god, 3,000 overwriting uh, config, I don't need them any, anymore, I have a default, uh, because I was working on Led Blinky and I, I found a problem, my overwriting config in the main was, uh, not properly set with LED Blinky, okay? So I, I, I only have a default. I back up all the setting I used to have to overwrite, like all the Street Fighter I need, I used to have an overwriting. And I remember why I did that. It's, it's for my, it was for my old LED Blinky system, but I don't need, because now the LED Blinky is properly set. I remove all the overwriting. So if you have problem, I did test a few games, Street Fighter, the fighting game, and the default was enough uh, to work two player and four player, whatever. It was perfect, okay? But I didn't delete the, uh, uh, my old setting. I create another backup. If you go on the main, there is a config folder named uh, config uh, old backup uh, overwriting uh, config files. Uh, if you have any problem, you just copy. If it doesn't work for some reason, maybe try the, uh, the backup I did on the main. But uh, it should work. And let me know on Discord if you find any game that doesn't match at all, the button doesn't work, or it's all, uh, we can create uh, an overwriting uh, config in the mains. But so far, I don't need any uh, overwriting uh, config. If you open the config files, it's just the defaults, there is three default settings and every time you boot a game, it's creating a file, but there is nothing in it. There is no uh, overwriting files, it's just a, a blank, uh, blank uh, config file. So that's it for Red Blinky. I'm very proud. Uh, if you need more information, you can change the, uh, if you want, you can change the, the, the default color. You can, uh, let's say you want number one blue, you want number two uh, red. You can change the color of the default uh, setting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you because I know people will ask me. Thank you for playing. So if you go to the, let's say Retro Beast, Let Blinky, uh, not the config, you open the, this one. Let Blinky uh, Control Editor. 
Okay? That's where all the system I, I will work on. Okay? All the system are there. So if you click, let's say, uh, by the default. The first one is the default. You double click default. I see you have the color. You just, let's say you don't, uh, you want your number one to be uh, not red but blue. So you double click each button and you change the color red for blue and so on. You can change the naming and every, you click. After that you do that for number two, three, you change whatever you want. You just not change the input code. If you do that, the color will be mismatch. match. Okay? You can change the color, you can change the name, but do not change the input code. It will uh, fuck up the uh, color system. Okay, the logistic, all right? The default and after, let's say, uh, MAME. MAME, if you click it, oh, there is a bunch of game. You can change manually the game. You click edit, see the color for uh, Alpha 2. Red, yellow, you can change it. You save it and so on and so on and so on. And for a system that have a, has a default like a Nintendo 64, you can change it also for player one, two, three, four. You change the color. You can change the name. You can put the name of your wife or your dog, and it's going to be fun. <laughs> you can do funny stuff with LED Blinky. So uh, LED Blinky controller, you can change it. So actually, you can change anything. Just don't change the input for any uh, application you're going to boot, because the, the way it works, uh, it's a uh, control. Uh, if I say this one is the uh, keyboard uh, A, that's the uh, that's the way he knows which color to put it. So if you change uh, some uh, button somewhere, is, you, you're gonna break the logistic. Okay, and it's very complex. Mame has its own way to works, and all the other system have their uh, own way to works. So basically, you just need a uh, LED Blinky config if you want to change the uh, uh, voice off, voice on, and so on, and so on. But man, that's cool. Yeah, it did work for two days. And it was a nightmare because when I was changing something, fixing something, I was breaking some other. I said, what's happening, man? It's so complex. There is so many files and config, but I uh, managed to, uh, to set it up in an easy way. And I'm very happy because the, if you go to MAME, I'm going to show you. Uh, emulator, if I go to MAME, uh, MAME, 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 MAME. If I open the config, this is all the game I bought, bought recently, but technically, there is uh, only the default, default BP, and default X. All the rest, Street Fighter, see it's blank. There is some stuff, but uh, I never created, main, main create. Uh, every time you boot a game, it is creating uh, files. And if you go down, config with all controller overwrite. So, see if you go to Street Fighter. It, it was, uh, see, it was overwriting the button layout. But I don't need it anymore. I don't need to overwrite all the button. Maybe, maybe for some game we, we will need. So if you find a game that doesn't work with the default, uh, let me know. We just need to create, uh, you know when you boot a main game, you press Alt, uh, you press Alt, you go to controller, and you can set for the machine. Machine means you want to change the controller just for the, this game, because this game needs to change some button. And every time you're going to boot the game after, it's going to be overwritten from the, the setting. Never change the, the overall set, uh, control. Always set per game, and it will create. And before doing your sync recovery, on the next month, press uh, save backup. It will back up the, uh, the config files you did create and put it back the way, because sometimes it's very long to overwrite system. So anyway, if, if you find game 
share share uh, share me the uh, the conk field you create or uh, ask me to create one i will uh, i will do because if you send me your uh, overwriting config you will add it the same the, the next month so you don't need to back up the the, the profile so that's it for let blinky enough talking it looks complicated but technically you just if you have two uh, pack led um, i pack ultimate for player uh, three one and and uh, two and four you're ready to go you just need to enable it and that's it you boot retro beast did i boot it and you're ready to go my friend And if you leave your arcade running, every time he's going to scroll game, change system, the light will uh, change automatically. Yeah. So I said it when, when he's talking, he's flashing white or he's flashing the light. And he's doing his random uh, lightning. You can change it. You can turn it off. But see, as soon as you press a button, it should change to the uh, default overlay. So if it doesn't find any uh, profile, it will always show the, uh, the default one. OK? I have a few bug, mini bug I need to find because, uh, setting because like, if you go to 3DO on the LAN, um, I know when I pass on the 3DO, uh, where's the 3 video uh, on the uh, console? Anyway, it's going to be fixed. There is some weird behavior sometimes. You say, what's happening? Okay. Where's the controller? Uh, console, I mean. Man, I'm so proud. Because the last time I worked really on LED Link, it's like three years ago, LED Link key. So see, on 3DO, because I need to reset 3DO, when I drive, I, I'm not even in the game, it, it show 3, but as soon as I move, it jump on the, so 3DO has a weird, uh, but let's say, again, see Atari 2006 is not set, but it show all the button, okay? But I will set it, I will set the color uh, as the uh, original, you know, button, red button, very uh, minimal, uh, very simple, but so every time you're going to screw a system, I will try to match uh, the Dreamcast since it's not set, but it will match. OK, so I need to work on every popular system, but almost all system will have their own color. So uh, it's very cool. What's tough is to, to set the, the base system, you know, to understand the way it works. And after it just uh, it's very long, so I'm not going to do all the system in one week. I'm going to do a system uh, per system every month. And so uh, I will try to do the basic PS2, PS1, PS3, Xbox, you know, the basic stuff, Switch. Uh, for the rest, it's less important, but uh, I will do it. So what I mean is I will jump on the most popular one and after. Uh, so that's it, guys. Let Blinky all set up. If you have any question, report any bug, any suggestion, uh, go on Discord. And the beast is the best, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Thank you for playing. Come back soon.
Okay. Here. Light punch. Medium punch. Heavy punch. Light kick. Medium kick. Heavy kick. Thanks, guys. Ciao.